I used to think of myself as a bit of a second-class citizen. I didn't consciously think of it that way, but I was brought up, yeah, I was born in the UK, but I went back to um, Nigeria, a very male-dominated society, at least at the time that I was growing up there. Um, and I felt second class, like being female was somehow less than um, anything else. Hey, I'm Rosemary Noni Knight, actually, before I carry on. I am the prosperity minister. I support you in regaining, rebuilding your confidence and in leaving behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past and in rising victorious in your true design life. Freedom, fulfillment, financial abundance, a love-drenched life. These are things that are yours by divine right, if you will claim them. If you will claim them. Feeling, going around, walking around, feeling like a second-class citizen because of your sex or because of your color or because of your sexuality or because of whatever, it doesn't lend itself to claiming one's divine right. That's for sure. It lends itself to a life of struggle, forever feeling like you have to fight for every single everything. And some of y'all might be listening to me and saying, yeah, I have to fight for everything because I'm black, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gay, because I'm, 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 I'm female. I have to fight for everything. And I get it. The world as it is today feels that way. It feels like you have to fight for your rights. But that whole fighting thing, it doesn't actually get you very far. It doesn't get you very far. At some point, you're going to run out of steam, okay, if you haven't already. It's, it's this feeling of, helplessness or powerlessness it's just nothing i can do about it because what are you going to do about the fact that you're female or that you're black or that you're gay what are you going to do about it there's nothing you can do about it and if you feel you have to fight for every single thing all the time at some point you're just going to run out of fight <laughs> and that's the thing i ran out of fight i got fed up with fighting and then i realized i never needed to fight anybody can believe whatever they want to believe about being female black or or gay or whatever if they want to who cares I don't have to join them. I can fix my freaking eyes on what I want out of my life and I can go and create it without having to fight with anybody about anything. But it took some doing to heal from the need to fight for every single little thing, to feel as if I had to rebel against this person and that person telling me this and I don't want to hear that and, and fighting with them and this and that, always feeling on the defensive against everything all the time. And yes, it always seems like you have to because you have no choice. It's a lie, honey. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's just because you believe it. And yeah, I agree. Lots of people in the world believe it too. Doesn't mean you need to join them. You just need to focus on what you desire and go get it. Who cares what anybody else is thinking or saying or, or believing about it? You don't need to join them. This is the thing, you're immersed in an environment that tells you you have to fight for everything. All your friends feel exactly the same way. Your family probably feels the same way. You're only being told that you're going to have to struggle for everything. I can tell you it's a lie, but you're going to go back into your environment and they're going to tell you what kind of cuckoo land are you living on. Of course we have to fight for everything. We have to defend everything. To, to, to. Seriously. Seriously. Do you really want to live that way for the rest of your life? I mean, you are one with the divine. What you decree will come to pass if you believe it. So right now you're believing you've got to fight for every single thing that you get. And so it is coming to pass. Would you like to change that? Or do you really want to continue living from this battlefield where life is hostile to you all of the time? And you're struggling for everything. You look at other people. You're jealous of the fact that they get it all easier than you. Is it a nice place to live? I didn't think so. So thankfully, the divine got my attention. Thankfully, I worked with people who, are, who showed me that there's a different way to live. And it doesn't involve battling all the time for every little thing. You can choose it, as I say. If that's what you want, then great, carry on. But if you're done with that... I invite you very, very strongly to come into the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. Come and do life with me. Come and learn a more grace-filled way of living, an easier way to do life. 
I ain't gonna promise that it's always gonna feel easy immediately. No, because you're coming out of thinking that your way is the only way. And you will find yourself snapping back to that quite regularly until you learn, until you immerse yourself in this whole different way of doing life, which is why the incubator exists for the purposes of your immersion, not just some kind of quick, let's just do this for a few days here and there, and then maybe everything will change. It won't. You go back to where you, you came from and you'll start doing exactly the same stuff because everybody around you is doing it. And you'll just, you'll start to think that their way is just normal. It's the normal way. It's the way I have to do it. No, it's not. It's just the way you've always done it, but it doesn't mean it has to be the way you have to carry on doing it forever. So come on now. Are you done with feeling like a second-class citizen that has to fight for everything with knowing that you're meant for a heck of a lot more than that and yet continually buying into this story that you have to fight all the time? If others want to fight, let them fight. You'll notice that they don't get very far, though. If you want to live free, a fulfilled, financially abundant, a love-drenched life, come and do life with me. It's not the only way. Of course, you can work with other people, but you're here and you're listening to me because I resonate with you. Come and do life with me. If you're done with feeling like a second-class citizen, come and do life with me. If you're ready to step up into your powerful self again, where what you decree actually comes to pass more easily than ever before, come and do life with me. Make a commitment to yourself to immerse yourself in the trainings within the Abundance Library, in the boot camps, in the, the weekly Empower experience that we do at the weekend, in the group itself. Come and commune with other driven spiritual people who know they're meant for more and we're all charging forward powerfully. Come and join us. Come and do life with me. It will change your life. I don't, I don't say that like that. I know it sounds kind of like, oh my God, it'll change my life. Yes, it will. It will. Why? Because you're going to be immersed in something different from what you're immersed in right now. And when you start thinking different, feeling different, it, your life will have no choice but to be different. Come. There are links around this video giving the options of joining. Join one of them and both of them lead you to the Deliberate Millionaire Incubator. Come right now. Come and do life with me. It will change your life. It will. It will. Okay? I look forward to seeing you in group. Do me a favor. Share this video with other people, okay? I am on a mission to reach 334,000 spiritual people. Driven spiritual people, not wishy-washy ones. <laughs> Who are ready to step into their true design life. So share this video, will you? That would be so helpful. Thank you so much. I look forward to doing life with you. Come into the incubator, okay? See you in there. Much amazing love. Bye.